Hello and welcome to the Authentic Wednesday podcast. Each week, my guest and I share our vulnerable behind the scenes stories of giving ourselves permission to take off our masks, let go of our expectations and embrace our own path of freedom and authentic connection. I'm your host, Bianca Hughes, a lover of authenticity and a licensed professional counselor in Georgia. Hello and welcome to the Authentic Wednesday podcast. It is your host, Bianca Hughes. Thank you so much for joining me on episode, I believe it's episode 39. Yes, episode 39 of the podcast. Keeping numbers and remembering things are not always my best. Anyway, it's just me on the podcast today and I have something I want to share. I just want to let people know on the episodes where it's just me, it could be even me sharing a story, my own experience, perhaps from a conversation I heard and kind of like my thoughts and sometimes things I just want to share on my heart. But I think that anything I do share is always from my own experience. Um, If people are wondering, well, what does it mean to be authentic? What does it mean to on this show? What can I expect in terms of giving myself permission and taking off the mask? I think that in anything I share, it's always going to be something I've experienced. Or if it's something I keep hearing coming up and having to share, sometimes I feel like, oh, I feel like I need to share this. And so that's kind of what happened this week. So I was having a conversation and someone said, we're talking about shall I say, this is just really about romantic relationships. I talk about relationships, but in particular, I want to talk about romantic relationships. So I'm having this conversation and they are saying this person is just talking about this relationship or situationship and they're having a hard time leaving the person alone. Or it just seems to be that there's always, they're always in the air, always in the atmosphere. And they said these words, they said, I just, I don't know what it is. It's like we just have this great connection. And I paused and I was like, just because you have a great connection, it doesn't mean you need to be with that person. And they kind of looked at me and they were kind of like, well, what do you mean? And I think that that is something that I wish was told to me growing up and explained more in relationships. That connection does not mean that I am meant to be with this person. You can be connected to anyone because we're all humans, right? And so in a way, we're all connected in some form of way. But that does not necessarily mean that you're meant to be in a romantic relationship with this person. And I think that it's so key to share this. What I want to share is because we're wired for relationships. We're wired to connect, right? That's how we thrive. That's how we live. And so if you notice, I said, we are wired to connect. So that's what I mean. We could be connected to anyone because that is how we're wired for relationships. So just because you feel connected in a romantic relationship, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're meant to be with this person. So let's think about this. I think meet this guy and I can think of guys I've met and they've been dope. They've been really handsome, really attracted. I have this physical attraction, which is so necessary and so needed and so important in romantic relationships. But that does not mean that this person was good for me or I was even good for them or that we have the same values just because I'm connected with you. It doesn't mean we have the same values. It doesn't mean that this person is meant to be on my path. And I think that sometimes we can get carried away with the connection and not look at all the other aspects. So I want you to think about this. Think about a circle and a circle that's split up and divided into different parts. So whether you divide them into halves or maybe you've got a half and then um, you've divided the half into a quarter or into um, a third, right? That's what we're talking about. When we think about relationships, it's a full circle and there are different parts. So there's a connection. So what if the connection is what, 50%? But then the values, right, if this person is right for you, is only 10%. What do you do with that? Do you understand what I mean? So it's 10% is the values, 50% is connection, maybe another 20% is their personality. That leaves me with 10%, right? And that is you have the same hobbies. 
but 50% is just on your like connection. It's just this physical attributes perhaps. But what is that? What is that connection? What are you describing? There are so many different aspects to the relationship that connection is not enough because we are wired to connect. And that is not a reason to stay with someone. And that is not a reason to go back. And that is not even a reason to continue the relationship. You know, I think about the statistics are here in America that 50% of marriages end in divorce. And I've always wondered what would happen if we really took the time to ask ourselves these questions about what's important in a relationship, what do we want, who we are, and that we're pausing in between dating. And we're really, you know, not going so much on a, sometimes it could seem because we're lonely. So we're always dating or we're feeling lack or we're running out of time. And so we keep Keep dating instead of just taking a pause and seeing what's important and really trusting that what we want and what we desire will come to us. So, when we're thinking about connection, what do you mean by that? Can you describe that? And if you can't, it's okay, but I do want you to take some time to think about it. Another thing sometimes, and you're like, connection, well, I don't know. Sometimes we'll say things like, oh, we vibe so well. I've never experienced something like this before. Let me say something about that. I have never experienced something like this before. That's true. And it's beautiful. And it might be for the moment and it might be for the season. But just because you've never experienced it before, it doesn't mean you cannot experience it again. Sometimes we experience things to know we can experience to keep our hope up that we can experience it again. It doesn't mean it's never going to happen again. So going back to this we're wired to connect, right? We're humans, we have bodies, we have all these connections. And so we're going to feel this energy from people, some sort of energy, but let's pause and ask ourselves what that is. When we want to go back in a relationship, because we just keep thinking on the connection we made, pause, what is that? You know, we know in our gut, that spirit, that God's speaking to you, that this something's not right. Yes, it's a great connection, but there's still something in the back of your mind. And so I want you to think about that. Again, you're going to hear me repeat myself to think about this. I think that repeating is important for learning. I can't just tell you once and then you remember. So again, (laughs) what does that connection mean? Define it. Go a bit deeper. When you say connection, what are you saying? What are you feeling? What are you experiencing? For example, I remember an ex-boyfriend of mine and we would still day and still see each other and still sleep with each other years after. And, you know, I could never figure it out what it was. And even my friend would say, you guys just had this crazy, deep, weird thing, not weird, but this connection. And I was like, yeah, but I know for me, I, I can't speak for them, but I know for me, they Fill that void of attention, even though it wasn't the best, it was something. Those are the times when I was having the big void and needed something to fill me. And in those times when he did, because he was very persistent. And so that made me feel wanted, that made me feel needed. But then afterwards, I wouldn't always feel so great because I'm like, well, when is this going to happen again? And so, you know, so when we're talking about that, I can understand and I can explain it now that. That connection was about filling a void because there was a time when it just passed and I didn't need to do it. But I and then I continued. But that was a void I was filling. Right. That was that wanting being needed. And they were handsome and they were physical attractive. So that made it even easier. Right. And so I want you to think about what is that connection that you're describing? What is that thing? Another thing it could be. And I think that I think that this is so key. It was. Faith, who's going to be on the podcast shortly in a couple of episodes, I think actually the next episode. And she wrote this blog post and it was on personality versus character. And it was just very mind opening. I'll put the blog post in the show notes. So sometimes we are just connected to that person's personality. So they have a lot of charisma, but when it comes to their character, it doesn't work out. And so sometimes we're just in terms of them being faithful and being honest. And I'll just read what she says here. 
We automatically assume that because they have good personality traits that they also have good character traits. Personality is associated with our outward actions and is surface level. Everyone sees our personality. Personality traits include being fun, humorous, confident, shy, etc. It's more about us as individuals. On the other hand, character traits are associated with our morals based on our beliefs about ourselves and especially other people. People only see our character when certain situations arise that reveal the innermost parts of ourselves. Character traits include dependability, trustworthiness, being considerate, etc. Our character influences how we treat people. For example, I've counseled coached several women who have said things like, but Faith, he's so fun and romantic at times and everyone loves him and thinks a world of him. He's so charming and easy to talk to. Charming is another thing that we get connected to, right? Because that person makes us feel really good in that moment. Then there's the other side of him that's inconsiderate, irresponsible, neglectful, sneaky, and dishonest. Notice the difference between her remarks about his great personality versus his negative character. It's imperative for us to decide if we want to stay connected to people who only have good personality traits while enduring the consequences of their negative character. It's definitely a win-win when people have both a positive personality and positive character. So that's another thing, you know, in regards to answering the question, what am I connected to? Is it their personality? Is that what you miss? Because sometimes we do miss people who are fun and exciting. That's another thing about that guy that, you know, the ex, uh, he was fun. He was exciting, you know. And so those things kind of draw you in, especially when you're not in a good space. So here's what I want you guys to take away, right? And I want you to think about, again, what do I mean? You know, ask yourself the question, what do I mean when I say I'm connected? What am I describing? You know, you can write that question down. What do I mean when I say I'm connected? What am I describing? And then after you've finished writing that down, ask yourself the question, is what I'm describing enough? Is what I'm describing what I want and what I desire? Another question, are you connecting with their personality and character or just their personality? Or perhaps it's just their character, but more times it's their personality that we are connecting with and that we just really vibe in with. And lastly, is this person helping or supporting you on the path that you are called? Are they bringing out goodness in you? Are they making you a better person? Now, for some, it just might be, well, I don't care. I just want to have fun. Fine. No problems. But if you are that person who is stuck and realizes, that you keep connecting to this person and you don't know why, there are some questions for you to kind of muddle over and think about. Because at the end of the day, my ultimate goal is that you are having an authentic connection, not just with yourself, but with God and with the world. Because when we realize why we're connecting to people and who we're connecting to, we have this whole aura of authenticity. Authenticity is not just about us. It's also about who we're in relationship with. So I hope this was helpful for you. Please, you know, tag on the podcast. Please share your takeaway. You can email me. Please don't forget to share it with someone who might just need to hear this. Thank you so much for listening. If you connected with what you just heard, please subscribe, rate and review the podcast. You can stay connected by following our Instagram, Authentic Wednesday Podcast and visiting our website, AuthenticWednesday.com. Remember, authenticity is a journey, not a destination.